Hi everybody, this is Amit Kumar and you are watching Prince Tech Solutions. So today, I am going to show you some of the advanced functions in Tableau. That is, how to use case statement in Tableau. Now, let me tell you in which scenario the case statement is used. For an example, I have this data. I have uh, one field called super ID. Right? In the table, I have only this field. I don't have any particular field called super. So, uh, I'll just drag it and let's see how many fields are there. It's only five sepers. Okay. So, it will be better in order to add the super company or shipping company to this table. The best practice is I should not make a connection or I should make a, a joining with other table. Instead of doing that, I can simply create a case statement and since there are limited number of shippers, I can correlate the shipping company with respect to the shipper ID. Okay, And in my data model, I will have another field called shipping company. All right. So let us create this one. There we go. So I just have to create a calculated field for this. Okay. So in the calculated field, I will use the case statements. So there are there should be five cases as per my data uh, is concerned. I have five sepers. So based upon these five sepers, I'll have to create a calculated field. So go and create a calculated field here. I just name it as shipping company. Okay. Shipping company. This will be a dynamic field which will create the shipping companies based upon the ID, okay, super ID. So here in my past videos you have seen how to use if else condition but case statement is quite different from it and it is very useful whenever you want to create an inline table if you have certain conditions like this you can create a field in the uh, in a table you can create a field in a table where you will have the dynamic data based upon this super IDs. Okay, so let me use this case statement. So for using case statement, you have to first write case. And if the case, that means the field is coming under the case. Okay, case super ID when one that means if super id is one when super id is one then your output will be let's say we are producing shipping companies okay all right so what should be the next case when it's two and then TTDC. Okay, that's a shipping company as well. So when the case is two, the output will be DTDC. When the case is three, then it should be let's say FedEx. When the case is four then it should be blue dash and finally when the case is 5 then it should be professional courier and I don't know how much data I'll have in my table right now it is 5 records in the shipping uh, super ID but in future I might have more also I might have six seven eight and more 
So what do I do if there would be more number of records? So in that case, it has also after the case, whatever the data available with me, this will fall into this following categories. However, else, if it is else, that means apart from one, two, three, four, five, if anything will fall into this field, then in that case, it will be other transporter. Okay. Finally, the case statement is ending. So let's see what will be the output shipping company. Okay, I'll just simply add this shipping company to this table. Here we go. So we got this shipper ID. We have written the condition. If shipper ID is 1, this should be Agrawal transport. If it is 2, DTDC, 3, FedEx, 4, Doodad, and 5, Professional Courier. So apart from that, if anything will come to this field, it will fall into other transport. Let's say, let us test this one also. Instead of 5, if I'll just use, I'll just remove this one. Okay. Here, the fifth data will be other transporter. Make sense? I do have one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four condition only. I don't have any condition for five. So five ultimately will fall into the else category. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and five is now named as other transporter. Make sense? Okay. So I'll keep it as buffer and this will be named as other transporter anything any record if added in future which is not in this range one to five okay so this is what we call as a case statement in tableau i hope you have liked this video stay connected with me and if you have liked please give a thumbs up and thanks for watching Bye-bye.